Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I know I haven't been talking in all the videos, but today I'll make up for it. Today we're gonna walk around Toronto and just show you around the area because I have something I have to do that I have to be in. So we're just gonna walk around nearby, but it's gonna be fun. Let's go. And still I can't believe that I have lost my own game. Hi guys, so I'm actually at the Starbucks area near my hotel and um, I know that I haven't been talking a lot because like I've been with my friends and um, they're not really used to how I vlog and I'm not... Oh, there's a lot of noise. <laughs> anyway, I'm staying near the train station which is kind of noisy so that's why I apologize if the noise are really bad but yeah, right now I'm in Enactus World Cup which made it seem so uh, so far away because right now I'm in Toronto, Canada and I haven't been vlogging because all my friends are feels really weird when I talk to the camera in front of me even right now I'm talking to my camera and people are staring so I'm just hoping that like this would pass really fast because I'll do it. I feel weird too but <laughs> gotta do it, you know what I mean? So the game plan for today because my team didn't get through the semis which made me feel really really bummed out because like I thought that we were in a good position to get into the semis and oh uh, yeah I just feel like we could have done better we could have like pitched better stuff but it is what it is you know uh, so now the game plan I have to watch the semi-finals with my friends from other countries because like Singapore's our Singapore team is really bummed out and they might not even come for the semis but I hope they do because they, like they really did a good job and I really I'm really proud of them and I'm really really pushing them to be more sociable in this kind of event because this is where you make great friends this is where you meet a lot of people from all over the world so yeah later I'm gonna go to the semi-finals then I'm gonna head down to the finals is all in today but for now we're gonna walk around toronto before it starts oh my god the sound of the train is really bad so if you can hear me yeah there's a really cool place just behind me which is like a train station of some sort i'm gonna bring you there and i hope that you guys will like this video because like it's been really a while and i miss doing this and i love doing this that's why let's go and it's cold by the way Look at my jacket, like it's very different from Singapore. But I'm loving it. I'm loving the weather, I'm loving all the things that comes with Canada. I might even move here. Like <laughs> yeah. Waiting for you to call. Maybe I'm here. Waiting for you to call. Maybe. I'm leaving soon and Hi guys, so I'm actually at the railway station. I feel like a tourist, but like I'm alone in this place. But <clears throat> I'm like the atmosphere when I'm alone because like I can do whatever I want. I can even have my camera on the ground and just walk in front of it, and it's fine. It's like totally safe. But yeah, so I just want to talk about why am I here? Why am I in Canada? Like I have been telling you guys that I'm going to Canada for some competition but you guys don't really know what I do so maybe I could shine a light on that topic <laughs> so I'm here in Toronto Canada to represent Singapore for the Enactus World Cup so what is Enactus World Cup? Enactus World Cup is a competition against 36 different countries to pitch their own business idea that impacts a lot of lives impacts a lot of like beneficiaries in their own country so we won the nationals back in june july ish so we get to represent singapore and we brought two projects with us gitv and nomad so those projects we're really proud of them and we had the competition just started like two days ago so the first day when we went 
when we came here, there wasn't any competition yet because during, during the time we had some cultural immersion and also university visit, which my, you might have seen in the previous video. And we went to Laurier, Wilfrid Laurier University, where we met a lot of awesome people. And we, I kind of loved that school. I wish that I could be there. Like I, I wish I could have been born in Canada and stay there and study there, but. It's really far from Toronto, so we get to travel two hours, one hour and a half. Like, the thing about in Toronto is like, everywhere is far. Like, for me, in Singapore, two hours is nothing. Because like, you would see like, it's from this side to that side, like one end to another. But in Canada, it feels like it's super, super far. Because when it goes to the highway, all you can see is, all you can see are trees and also like, you know, telephone line we were like taking the bus to get there and it feels like forever but when you get there it, it is really fun and they have a lot of good facilities and they have a lot of Asians yeah they have a lot of Asians it's not being racist but it's good because like um for immigrants who are planning to stay in Canada Wilfrid Laurier is like the best university because like yeah there's a lot of Asians I'm not I'm not saying that other university doesn't have any but like in my perspective and that's the only perspective I have and the only university I visited and that that school is really great yeah no hating after that we get to do some sightseeing with my friend who I met last year Bailey he's awesome he's really a good guy and he just brought us around he went back to his parents to his family's restaurant and get us breakfast which is damn cool he cooked for us he's really awesome and after all that the competition starts we pitched our idea yesterday and i thought that we really had a good standing because like we were against philippines china and south africa i know that south africa china is really good but I, based on based on the brochures they gave us I felt like we were in the safe standing, but yeah, what happens happens. So in any way, hashtag we all win. Connectus give you the feeling of even if you didn't get into semis, you still have the the feeling of you know feeling achieved. You know, because like we empower students to do more projects to impact more lives in the entire in the entire world. So kudos to all those who win and I hope you guys will do better than us because like we really work hard in our project and it shows that there are countries that are better than us but next year we're gonna do better we're gonna do much much better so watch out this is like an open challenge for all the Inactus member and if you are watching this video and you're from Inactus please subscribe to my channel I mean like it, yeah it feels like I'm closing the vlog but it's not we still have a lot of things to do so let's keep moving. Let's watch more trains. This place is really cool though. Now that I hold the brown and carry you close to me, smoke and hope you notice this. Barely fine, I just wanna tell you I think it's over with, but I can never go with it. Just ignoring that open it's like something to hold some shit. Gotta go on my own, but it's hard to go when you hold me. I know I'm holding back and we growing older fast and it's something so relaxed with you. So I'm walking back to the Metro Toronto Convention Center because like the competition is going to start in 10 minutes I'm still walking back so I'm going to be pretty late because uh, I actually want to see the competition because it's really inspiring of what they do and I haven't seen any of the competition since yesterday because we were so busy preparing for our presentation so today I'm just going to chill and let you guys watch the presentation today I'm just gonna fast forward myself to the place because it's kind of a long walk and I need to hurry. See you guys. <laughs> 